Here are crafty chums and I'm just coming to you from my sick bed. <laughs> I've been uh, really unwell and uh, continue to be not very well but that's enough of that. And uh, so uh, the challenge this week is going to be a card. And um, <clears throat> this is going to be uh, an anniversary card and it's for a male. So it's uh, an anniversary card for a male and actually this one's going to be for my hubby. <laughs> so uh, male cards are always difficult to um, make and, um, <clears throat> I d and I don't know why that should be but they are <laughs> unless it's something you do all the time um, yeah they're just difficult to make so I'm just measuring um, this is going to be the base and I'll probably be all over the place today because uh, as I say I'm not very well I'm on antibiotics which are making me feel even worse but hey <laughs> so I'm just um, actually take more off there more off there you're going to be seeing much of me over the next few weeks because my hubby is in for an operation and um, so I'll be his uh, nursemaid just making this a little bit smaller You know, as, as I keep telling you, a lot of uh, card making is what you can do by eye. So, um, cause the, so I apologise for my dressing gown. It's just uh, I'm not feeling uh, up to getting dressed or anything yet. So, apologies. So yeah, a lot of this is um, is what you can see. It's it's by eye. You know, I can give you measurements, but at the end of the day, it's. Um, it's how they're cut and everything else that makes the difference. Now, I'm just going to have to put my reading glasses on. Get to that age where I really do need to help me uh, see what's going on on the desk. So I've just pulled a couple of things out. Um, yeah, this is going to be a. I've had. You know, I've known that my 30th wedding anniversary has been coming up. <laughs> Plenty of time to make it. But hey, hate hope, hate hope. So let's see, let's see if we can make a nice simple mail card. As I say, I've got a few things out. I've got um, I've got some some dice here. This one is a birthday one. This one's Christmas, and this one says Happy. And I actually thought I bought the anniversary one as well, <laughs> but obviously I didn't because <laughs> it's not here. I might just give another look in a minute. And I've also got um, uh, the number dice. So yeah, so I'll be using. I might use the Happy off the set but I don't know yet might just be a little bit silly if I do that but I don't know we'll see and I've got a uh, let's just pop this down here center it up as much as you can so that you, my husband's got an even better eye than me if I've got something wonky he can see it <laughs> wonky donkey he'll see it so yeah I've got a um let's just think uh, I've got two happy anniversaries there's this one here and this one here and I don't know which one I'm going to use it yet this one is from Hero Arts the stamp set so yeah as I say I've not decided what I'm going to do it's not planned out you'll see this one is off the cuff I'm just going to pause now while I search to see whether I had the anniversary one or not. I've got to search through me. I might have dropped to the bottom of the pile. So, uh, back in a moment. So now I haven't found the uh, anniversary die, so obviously I didn't buy it or I've lost it. <laughs> I could have sworn I bought it though. Anyway, um, 
And then uh, I was thinking of uh, having a look at uh, these um, jelly prints that um, Josie made me the other day. And so I'm just going to trim up a section here and see what it looks like on the card. So I don't know uh, whether I'm using it yet, I'm just going to give it a chop and see if uh, what it's like. So that would be measuring. I'll give it a go at three and three quarters, see what it's like. So I say I don't know whether I'm going to use it or not. It's quite nice. It's um, it's not too fancy schmancy for a uh, a guy card, is it? So, I think I will use it. It's very pretty. It's pretty uh, without being overly, you know, pretty for a girl, you know, too girly. I like that. That's very nice, Josie. Right, so, see I've changed my mind once, I wonder if I'm going to change my mind again. <laughs> I'm just going to die cut um, the 30 here. I'll do stick this on first. Stick it on then I won't lose it. This is seat of my pants card making, folks. Probably feel worse and worse as the antibiotics go on and uh, won't feel like making the card at all. So, better do it now. My husband's just popped off the boat to get the laundry done, so uh, which is normally my job. <laughs> so I'm grateful for that. Lovely. Love this paper, Josie. Lovely, lovely, lovely it is. Right. Okay, I'm going to die cut the 30 back in a minute because my kettle bug, when I put it on here, it will, uh, I'm just all you'll see is the kettle bug, so no point. So back shortly. So I've uh, die cut the um, 3 and the 0 and the TH for 30th. I don't know whether to, I'm going to use the TH or not, or just the 30. Um, what, I'm, what I've done is I've die cut it in white cardstock and in the blue that I've used as the border around the card there. So, and what I'm going to do is just uh, lay them on top of one each other, of one another, and <clears throat> just slightly offset uh, so that it gets like a shadow effect on it. So that's what I intend doing. <laughs> Slightly offset it. It's a bit fiddly but it's worth it. So a lot of these things um, in crafting is that 
is that they are a little bit fiddly but if you just take that little bit of extra time you get a, a really nice result and usually it's the smallest things you do that make the difference to the look of everything. Got this glue pen here and I think I've had it now for um, about three years and it's still going strong which shows you I don't use it very often. Don't want it to be too much of a shadow but it's got to be just enough. that right there for a second. I do it to the 30th as well but as I say I don't know whether I'm the uh, ith th. I don't know if I'm going to use it but we'll see. i to give myself the option. Because they're quite fiddly. but usually worth the effort. So I'm just going to set these aside to dry. What I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to stamp out uh, the happy anniversary and then see which one of these banners um, I'm going to use on it. I might not use these banners, I might use the fishtail flags yet, haven't decided. I'll decide that once I've actually stamped it out. Just got to go and get my little mouse pad one per second. I'm also in the middle of tidying up because um, when my husband has the operation we'll be away from the boat for a while and uh, so I'm just trying to clear and tidy everything up and so of course <coughs> One of the things that has to get tidied is my uh, <coughs> is my um, crafting space. Oh dear. That's why I've got everything all over the place and not sure where anything is. You know, when things are a mess, you can't find things. When you tidy things up, you still can't find them. There's no winning, is there? So I'm just going to find the halfway point on this. You don't have to find the halfway point when you stamp stamps, it's just that this is something, you know, it's a thing I like to, it doesn't matter on here because I don't have to try and centre it up or anything. It's just using a little Versicolor thing there which I'm, which is going away with me, travelling with me, so that's why it's out, it's my little travel, I have a little set of travel inks that I take away with me. It's quite a nice one. I'm just going to wait a few seconds for that to dry and I'll be cutting it out with one of these banners, whichever one I decide. I haven't decided, so <laughs> back soon. So uh, I decided to go with the fishtail flag and it, I don't know whether you can see on there, but um, my uh, cutting plates are well used <laughs> and so um, if you can see that eat on both sides of this um, there's a the pattern of the plate there and I don't really I don't know whether you can see it or not because it's not showing to me on camera whether you can see it but I don't mind that because um, I'm using you know the the jelly print that um, that Josie made and so it's going to be a more uh, a very crafty kind of feel to it so I don't mind that it's not smooth or anything so um, yeah I'm quite happy with that
I'm just not happy with the size of the fishtail flag. <laughs> I'm undecided whether to cut it down. I think I, think I might cut it down, um, but I'll probably have to cut it down after I've stuck this on there. So I'll stick this on there first and then cut it down. Um, yes. to try and get it to um, fairly straight. Fairly straight on there before I cut it. It's got a nice gentle rock and roll to it, which is uh, not helping me. <laughs> You're not helping me. <laughs> so all I've got to do now is just decide how long I want this, whether I want it to go right across. whether I want it to go right across or whether I don't want it to go right across. I think I might make it go almost all the way across. I'm just going to chop off the end bit there, but leave it quite long. Lost control of that at the last second. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do de do. So I stick down, I've just decided to go with the 30 and not the 30th. Well, maybe I will. No. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I've decided to um, just punch a little heart and pop it there.
I just need to give that a couple of more seconds to dry. Undecided, 30th. Happy 30th. 30. Happy anniversary, 30th. <laughs> I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> Let's have a look, see what it's like. Might need to get some more glue on there. Yeah, that one's not sticking, is it? I need to use some other glue on there. I'll put up, yeah, 30th, yes. <laughs> decisions, decisions, huh? Right, I'm just going to let that dry before I hold it up for you to see. <laughs> so I don't want them falling off as soon as I hold it up. So there you go. Back in a minute. Okay, then I think it should be about dry now. So there you go. This is the uh, the card. It's a 30th uh, anniversary card because it's my 30th wedding anniversary on April the 6th. <laughs> oh my goodness, 30 years. So anyway, the challenge is to make a card using jelly print paper. So let's see what you can come up with. See you again soon. Bye.